I'm Jasper, half Irish, half English, and I own pizzerias in India. I'm crazy about India, and I'm crazy about pizza, and we're arranging their marriage. Welcome to the great Indian pizza adventure. Gujarat, home to some of the greatest traders the world has ever seen. And wherever you go in the world, you'll find Gujaratis eating Gujarati food. But can we gate crash this closed culinary shop? I'm going to meet people, do a crash course in the culture and the cuisine of Gujarat to create some amazing, unique pizza pies. Join me on the great Indian pizza adventure. And to start the Gujarati journey, let's talk to the man himself, culinary historian, author, TV host, and legend, Dr. Pushpesh Pant. Pushpesh Pant, we are so delighted to have you on the Great Indian Pizza All the pleasure is mine. I have a mission to make a Gujarati pizza. So can you help me to understand the framework for Gujarati cuisine? When we talk of Gujarat, we are talking of a blob of color on the map, which was reorganized on linguistic basis, hmm. which does great violation to the zone of taste concept. Gujarat has different regions. So you have Kathiawada, which touches the border of Rajasthan. They have lots of commonalities and different keys there. There is tribal Gujarat, which has different kind of food. You have coastal Gujarat, which obviously eats fish. Then you also have interesting places, uh, legendary food destinations in Gujarat. There is a saying, Kashi nu maran, surat nu jamar. Hmm. If you have to die, go to Kashi, Banaras. It will be liberation. If you want to have our bliss eating food, go to Surat. So Surat, Sopara of past, was a place where cosmopolitan influences came and people had money to spend on food. So you still go, there's the greatest place for street food in Gujarat, I think. There is something called locha. Now, everybody will give you a dhokla or a khaman, but locha is something very interesting. It is a plasticine kind of a thing which you can stretch. It goes back into a spongy shape and it is a metaphor for somebody throwing unintended or intended obstructions oh, in your well, I see. I'd, I'd like to compare this thing with some pizza dough to see, to uh, see, to, we can have yes. a competition in, so, in elasticity. So, but the locha is that you don't cook it, you eat it. I mean, locha is yeah. already done. When you travel from Baroda to Surat or Ahmedabad to Surat, I think you have the greatest street food on the dhabas alongside. You had udyo, you had hardwo. I would say that that is what the beauty of Gujarat is, that it is not only lijat papad, yeah. it is not only khakras and yeah. bakris, it is not only the pickles, chundos and so on, burkeris, it is not only what you eat as nashto farshan. But then the point is that Gujaratis have that as an accompaniment. Yeah. They, their basic food is very different. It could be a khichdi made of millets. Uh, it could be a flour nushak, cauliflower thing. It could be batata nushak, potato samsi. It could be handwo, it could be udio, it could be butia. Tremendous range. Very public. It's not. It's not. It's not hidden in a kitchen. It's on no, the street, no, it's right? It's. It's a very social thing. But help me to understand as well, Pushpesh, some some structural things like veg, non-veg. So the prejudice. I mean, where there's food, there's prejudice, and the prejudice would be Gujarat, 100% vegetarian. True or not true? Uh, I think it's not true at all. Gujarat is a very large tribal population, which is meat-eating population. You have Muslims in Gujarat, which date back centuries with Daudi Voras who came from Yemen. Yeah. Or you have Parsis who came from Iran. And then you had the royal families from Big Kaikwal in Baroda. I see, so that's a more recent and overlay. You, and then you have the coastal area. Yes, the coastal well they area. must have fish, of course. They must have I mean, fish. Why wouldn't they? So why should they? If you take a pizza, using your vast knowledge of Gujarati cuisine, techniques, culture, etc., What's your thought process around the Gujarati pizza? What I would like to do is to have a pizza, a round pizza, large size one. Yeah. With different slices 
representing different regions of Gujarat. I've gone from naught to 500 miles an hour in a couple of minutes. But the proof of the eat is in eating the pizza. The proof of the pudding is in the pizza. You've been absolutely fantastic. We are so happy to have you. Thank, Thank you. you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you so much. That was truly an amazing crash course on Gujarati cuisine. My next stop, Gujarati Samaj, home away from home for Gujaratis in Delhi. It has a wonderful cuisine. I'm going to taste a whole lot of snacks here and meet some amazing people from the community. I'm super excited. Sadnamam, Alok, Rana Saab, Meena, Kem... Kem... Kemcho! Kemcho! Madama Chie! Thank you for having me. Madama. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And a swagat chie abnu. Thank you, and thank you so much for having me. This looks absolutely wonderful. Now, let's... Can, can I try a few things? Because I have to learn about Gujarati yeah. culture. I have to learn about the cooking. Where shall I start? Where, sh where, do we, where do you begin with this beautiful feast? I'd like to welcome our guests with some sweet. OK. Try the jalebi. <laughs> try, so straight, no messing around, straight in with the jalebi. I know a little bit about Gujarat food, and of course, I think everybody knows that Gujaratis have a very sweet tooth. I think it's slightly, uh, it's more like a misconception. It's just the view of Gujarati food being so sweet, mm -hmm. which has become a world view, which is uh, really not true. It's sort of a prejudice. It's, it's, yeah, because of so many popular foods in Gujarat, a Katiawad food is the hottest, spiciest, oiliest food I've ever had with no element or figment of sweet at all. Uh, and of course, Alok, it, you know, like every state in India, there isn't one Gujarati cuisine, there's multiple Gujarati cuisines, right? So we have different reasons, there's a Gujarat reason, then there is a Sauras reason. So two distinct styles of cooking. Okay. Different. different there are two different styles. And uh, with each, you know, district, there are some variations. Very interesting. Now, so, can I try a bit of this just to start to, you to must break start my with the dark? Tafla. Tafla. This is the most popular most street. Popular. I saw this being made. So we've got to go for the combination. Dip. That is a dip. Dip, dip in yeah. this and then Yes. And actually, this is like a mini pizza too, right? The most famous snack in India. Yeah, yeah, Gujarat. yeah in Gujarat. It's all of Gujarat. Oh, that's a big bite. You're it's okay? not hot, I'm sure. <laughs> This is a very satisfying combination. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll make a pizza just with these three things. OK, what's next? Dokula, yeah. this, you, you try it. This fellow. We're in the final innings. I've got two more overs. I'm swinging my bat. What shall I try? You like that pizza, dosa pizza? I think I've got to have the dose of pizza, sir. I've got to hand over that dose of pizza. Let's have a look. So this is an innovation that we have. Uh, dosa pizza with curry. <laughs> dose of pizza with curry. <laughs> Imagine that. I think if I came from Naples and I saw this. Drop dead? I would either drop dead, I would definitely faint. You would faint. I would be so shocked. I'd be calling up my Neapolitan mama. Mama mia! It has a certain something. It definitely has a certain something. And I like the cooling effect of this. Yeah. I want to be a Gujarati, with, with apologies to my Irish mother. Thank you, so that's a wrap on this. Brilliant. Dosa pizza, anyone? Go for it. That was some really fun information. And who knows, as long as it's the true spirit of Gujarat, maybe we'll give it a go. Part two of my Gujarati culinary crash course. I'm here to meet Mira Jala, who's built not one, not two, but three amazing food businesses. She's also an incredible Gujarati home cook, understands the culture, the food, the ingredients, the ethos, and we're going to have lunch together. Mira, this looks 
absolutely amazing and a whole lot better than my usual Monday fare. So this Jasper is a celebration meal in any Gujarati home. And Gujarati meals largely are very well balanced. Even being vegetarian, they have a good amount of protein. And look at the amazing colors and this. So, I mean, you know, I'm aware, Mira, that there's, you know, there's all kinds of culinary and geographic diversity in Gujarat. Where can we geographically locate this food? So Gujarat, you can divide it in uh, largely four brackets in terms of food, and each region has very distinct flavors. There's Kathiawar, uh, that has less vegetation and spicier uh, and curd-based food. There is uh, Kutch, which has a lot, it's a desert, mm. so again, it has a lot of flavors, uh, heat, a lot of yogurt-based dishes. Yeah. There's uh, surti food, uh, which again has a very distinct flavor. This uh, meal largely is uh, from Ahmedabad. Okay. And um, most Gujarati homes, uh, which are, uh, you know, Jains or Vaishnav, uh, consume these meals. It was amazing. And look at these incredible pickles and condiments. Where, so where should we start on this? So we can start with uh, the kachori. Mm -hmm. uh, Every meal in Gujarat has farsan, which are snacks. So there's always a steamed snack and then a fried uh, uh, snack. So here we have two uh, steamed snacks. One is uh, dokla, which is made from rice flour. And there's handvo. Uh, handvo is made from rice and lentils together. And we have a khasta kachori, mm -hmm. uh, which is a stuffed kachori with dahi and mint sauce and tamarind sauce. Brilliant. So should we should yes, I start, let's start, start with, here? Yes, let's start, start here. with That's that. That's a spring thing. I wonder, do you think you can make a pizza out of this? I wonder how. I think you could try. This could be an interesting, maybe the stuffing, mm. which is sweet and spicy. Uh, you could use that as uh, a topping. Okay, that's absolutely delicious. Now, where are we going from here on this odyssey? Let's try the dokla. One of these fellows? Yes, the white one, the oh. white dokla. Um, so, rice. God, it's light as a feather. You've got a yes. very short touch. Isn't that delicious? Okay, so we're into our curries and our dal. And this, um, this sweet curry is very interesting. Yes, it's the sweet curry. Uh, so kadi is popular uh, across different regions in India. Punjab makes a very good kadi, but the Gujarati kadi is uh, sweet and tangy. Uh, it's my favorite. Let me let me take you in another direction. What about a dessert pizza? Yeah, sweet pizza. Sweet pizza with mango. I think that's not a bad idea at all, and we haven't done that. We haven't done that. If there's and one region like, that could use, uh, yeah, uh, you know, dessert mango pizza, Gujarat it is. Well, and actually, you know, if you think about it, we'll get to this. I've been eyeing, <laughs> I've been eyeing this guy up. Um, that kind of thing with mascarpone oh. and chili again. Yes. Right? I'm recovering from, from when I thought I was being married off. <laughs> no better way to recover than this. Just, it's absolutely delicious and divine. And you were saying that sometimes, given you have a, f a, a family from around and about, so sometimes they, they don't want this Gujarati cooking. Do you know what I say to that? Tell me. They're crazy. I agree. They're absolutely, 100%. They're absolutely <laughs> crazy, Mira. I would change your locks. Don't let them back in until they beg you to cook this food. Thank you so much. That was, this is absolutely crackerjack. Fantastic. Thank it's, you. It's been a pleasure, Jasper. Great conversation. I'm glad I found somebody who appreciates the Gujarati food. Can I come back like every single lunch? Let's keep it once a week, at <laughs> best. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mira. Brilliant.